Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from the Aspiring Medics. I'm Arisma, a medical student at King's College London and today I'm going to be taking you through some top tips on how to start writing your personal statement. All personal statements submitted through UCAS can have a maximum of 4,000 characters or 47 lines, whichever is more, so make sure you stick to this limit. The personal statement is also an opportunity to sell yourself to admissions officers as well as the med school you're applying to. This is the first time that admissions tutors will assess you as an individual and not as a set of grades and results, so it's important that you make a good first impression. You will have 4,000 characters, which is around 500 words and 47 lines to show how you possess the qualities needed to become a doctor. You should demonstrate your suitability to study medicine, for example, by showing your commitment, team working skills, and excellent communication skills to the admissions panel. Most importantly, you should explain your motivation behind studying medicine and use your relevant volunteering and online work experience to show how you have explored the career path further. Importantly, different universities will use the personal statement at different stages in their application process and with different weightings. They might not use it at all or may ask for an alternative to the personal statement. The personal statement may just be one of the aspects that's scored or it may be a station at your MMI interview. The personal statement may also be used to differentiate applicants with identical test scores and grades. Before you start applying to these schools and before you start writing your personal statement, make sure to research how each university uses the personal statement so you can tailor your personal statement to the universities that you are applying to. But don't worry, you won't have to go through every single university's website to find out how they use the personal statement. We've made your job easier for you if you head on over to our website www.theaspiringmedics.co.uk and head on over to our personal statement guide, you will find a comprehensive table explaining how each and every med school in the UK uses the personal statement in the application process. Finally, here are six steps to help you start your personal statement. We have blurting, the work experience log, MSc values, reflecting, writing, and finally reading other personal statement examples. The hardest aspect of writing a personal statement is just getting started. Procrastination gets the best of us and blurting is a great way for you to get this personal statement out of the way and beat procrastination. Start off by grabbing a blank sheet of paper and writing down anything that you think is relevant to your personal statement. What you want to include in the personal statement. Is there any particular direction you'd like to see your personal statement heading in? Also mention any achievements that you think might be relevant, work and volunteering experiences, extra reading, as well as extracurricular activities activities. Remember that this is just a rough list, so just blurt out and write down anything that you think is relevant at this point. Next, think about skills that are important for you to become a good doctor and a good medical student and make a list of them. Think about experiences that can show admissions officers that you possess these skills and that you've spent considerable time developing them. And lastly, our final tip for blurting is to write down anything and everything that comes to your mind. Do not overthink anything at this point. Remember, we're just coming up with ideas at this point. The final writing stage and editing stage comes much later. Next, make a work experience log, which is essentially just a list of all of the work and volunteering experience opportunities that you've had in the past two years. Then, associate these experiences with any relevant skills or values you've gained or any relevant information you think might be useful to add to your personal statement. Remember to link these experiences to skills that are necessary for you to become a good medical student and doctor, such as good communication skills, leadership, and teamwork. If you have work experience outside of medicine, include that as well. Every experience would have helped you gain some valuable skills. And lastly, you can find our Notion and Google Sheets templates in the description box below to help you create an organized work experience log. Now that you've made your list of work experiences and important skills to mention in your personal statement, double check these with the MSc values. The Medical School Council has released a list of core values and attributes that they expect from medical students. This, however, is not an exhaustive list and individual schools may have some extra qualities that they're looking for, known as selection criteria for those particular schools. It's important that you show and not tell admissions officers that you possess these skills, understand their importance and have spent considerable time developing these skills. Use this list as a checklist. Knowing what skills admissions officers are looking for will help you take your personal statement to the next level. Now, the MSc values are broadly divided into four categories. Knowledge-based skills, safety and quality, skills based on communication, partnership and teamwork, and finally, skills based on maintaining trust. 
You can find more information about these skills on our website or by checking out our last video where we explore each of these skills in detail and give you examples on how to develop these skills. Now that you've made a list of activities and know what skills admissions officers are looking for, it's time to link the two. Remember, the personal statement is not a list of your achievements. It's a personal essay where you talk about what you've learned from these experiences. And so it's important that you reflect on these experiences too. There are loads of reflection frameworks that are highly recommended and used in medical schools across the UK that we will be going through in next week's video. So stay tuned for that. Finally, it is time to write your first draft of the personal statement. At this point, do not care about the character or line count. Just write anything that you think is relevant. Since this is your first draft, it does not have to be perfect. However, following a rough structure may be useful. For instance, your introduction should include your motivation to study medicine and your conclusion should show that you understand the realities of a career in medicine. You can also create a separate paragraph for each aspect of your application, academics, extracurriculars, work experience, and so on. When you come back to edit the personal statement, you can make it more cohesive and link these paragraphs to each other. Once you're done writing, leave this draft alone and focus on something else. Read it again with a fresh mind two days later so you can identify flaws in your personal statement more easily and then start editing your personal statement. The final step in this process is to read other personal statement examples. You definitely won't have a perfect draft at this point, but reading examples from applicants who were successful might help you improve your own personal statement. These examples might give you an idea on how to seamlessly show and not tell the admissions officers what skills you hone and how to reflect on them without your personal statement sounding like a brag sheet. However, remember that UCAS is very strict on plagiarism, so do not copy these examples. You can find a whole range of personal statement examples on our website. Currently, we have over 15 personal statement narrations on the website. These articles don't just include the personal statement, but also a narration from the writer about why they chose to include certain sentences and phrases and what their personal statement writing journey was like. So these articles are really insightful and we would highly recommend you check them out. So there we have it. Thanks for watching this video from the Aspiring Medics. If you would like to get expert feedback tailored to your universities, complete with individualized analytics, check out our Medicine Personal Statement Review Service on the Aspiring Medics website. It's the most cost-effective service on the market and we've had glowing feedback from students. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found today's video useful. See you in the next video.